testicles? Erections? Yes, we're doing another presentation on human anatomy, reproductive systems with bodies with testicles. We're gonna take a closer look and break down the information. So come along with me and let's get learning. This will be another animated presentation with me narrating the text. If you like these kinds of presentations, please let me know. And if you'd like a copy of this presentation, there's a link down below to my Teachers Pay Teacher store. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get learning. This presentation is all about the reproductive anatomy testicle edition. So what is a penis? Well, a penis is a part of the reproductive system. It's made up of spongy tissue. And a penis can be circumcised or uncircumcised. Did you know the average length of an adult erect penis is between 5 to 6 inches or 12 to 15 centimeters? What does circumcised mean? Well, when a person is born with a penis, the penis has foreskin. This foreskin covers the glands or the head of the penis. Sometimes parents choose to have their child circumcised for various reasons. Did you know being circumcised does not affect the development of a penis? What are those round things behind the penis? Those are testicles or testes. This is where sperm is produced. They also play a part in hormone production. Did you know? One testicle hangs lower than the other one. This is nature's way of making people more comfortable. What is sperm? Sperm cells are what are needed to fertilize an egg to create a baby. Sperm cells are very small. There are about 200 to 500 million cells in each ejaculation. Did you know it takes 64 days for sperm cells to mature? That's what's happening as they're traveling through the seminiferous tubules. Is there anything else I should know? Yes. Semen is a word used interchangeably with sperm. However, semen is made up of sperm and other fluids. When a person with a penis ejaculates, semen comes out of the tip of their penis. Did you know semen is a whitish color? What does ejaculation mean? Well, ejaculation is the release of semen through the tip of the penis. Ejaculation can happen during sexual activity or as a wet dream. Ejaculation is often called an orgasm. Did you know people with penises may have wet dreams when they are going through puberty? It's just a fact of life. How much semen is in an ejaculation? Although it may seem like a lot of semen is ejaculated, the amount generally varies from a quarter of a teaspoon to one teaspoon. Did you know you can't pee and ejaculate at the same time? What is an erection? An erection is when a penis becomes hard. The spongy tissue fills with blood and makes the penis stand away from the body. Did you know flaccid is the term used for a penis that is soft or not erect? There are lots of words people use for an erection, such as boner, hard-on, stiffy, pitching a tent, woody. Hey, do you know any other slang words used to talk about an erection? If you do, please leave them down in the comments below. I would like to hear about it. Why do erections happen? Well, they can be caused by sexy thoughts, but they also happen just because. It's the body's way of getting ready for reproduction. Did you know reproduction is when a sperm fertilizes an egg and the fertilized egg develops into a fetus? How many erections a day are normal? Well, during puberty, erections can happen every 90 minutes. However, everyone is different. There is no specific number. Did you know a penis does not have a bone inside? I wonder where the term boner came from. How do I get rid of an erection? Erections will eventually soften on their own. Also, an erection will soften after ejaculation. Did you know 
It's important to have a trusted adult you can talk to when you have questions. I hope this presentation has informed you about penises, testicles, and erections. Thanks again. Stay safe and sex positive.